You know what they say, right? To survive a war, you gotta become war. And bigger is not always better when it's about battle. Isn't that right? So in this video, we got two smartphones, the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, and also going head to head is the Goliath iPhone 12 Pro Max, Samsung and Goliath. And we're gonna see who is the victor right here. Y'all stay tuned, let's go. Now running through some quick comparisons, you'll notice that both the Samsung and the Goliath, I mean the iPhone, right? <laughs> both have three lenses on the back, right? That's very convenient. Now when it comes to size and feasibility and ergonomics, both of them are relatively kind of the same size, don't you think? But the Samsung does have the edge when it comes to how it feels in the hand. Now you'll notice, now look, they're both the same size, right? Can you see that? And me personally, I love the way the Samsung feels over the iPhone, but the iPhone just has something that's a little bit more to grip than this one does, you know? It fits better in my pocket, but the iPhone feels just a little bit better when it comes to setting it up and sh actually shooting video with it, okay? Okay, so how about we do a power on startup test to see who wins? Let's go ahead and turn them on. Just notice I'm gonna press them both at the same time. Clock's already running. And if I had to put my money on a good bet, well, I'd go with the underdog. Notice that the Samsung is beating the iPhone. We're at 12 seconds and I can feel the heat in my hands right now. Guess what? The Samsung display just came up, but the iPhone powered up in 18 seconds as compared to the 21 seconds for the Samsung. Now, before I talk about anything else, we're gonna go deep into the trenches, get into the camera system and how they compare to each other. I took some samples and some videos and I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on with these two smartphones right now. Let's see who wins. And this time, I'm putting all my money on the favorite. And if you wanna increase your odds, well, you better hit that like and subscribe button right now before it's too late. And don't forget to hit that notification bell too while you're at it, okay? And as you can see, both cameras are locked and loaded on the same settings. Well, don't you move, cause you're about to see two smartphones going head to head on this battlefield. Now, check this out. Pretty impressive, huh? I bet you didn't see that one coming. So I based this one on color accuracy, sharpness, and image quality. And guess what? The Samsung won this round. And you know something? This time I'm gonna go and check out the video. But that was pretty sharp, huh? Told you, you guys gotta pay attention to what I'm talking about, okay? Bigger's not always better. Okay, let's move. Okay, we can move, but before we do that, let's talk about something that's even more important than video. How about the refresh rate? Now, on the iPhone 12, all you have to do is to go into your settings, then you hit your display, and from there, you can search for the refresh rate. Well, it's not gonna be there. You know why? Because it comes standard with 60 hertz refresh rate on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, let's go to the Samsung. If I go to my settings, then what I'm gonna be looking for, same thing display. Once I tap on display, I'm going to be looking for motion smoothness. Now you see motion smoothness just at the very bottom there set to high. Now what that means is that when I have motion on my screen or I am scrolling that my screen will be smooth. Now notice at the very bottom I have standard. I can switch to 60 hertz. Now isn't that what the iPhone 12 Pro Max has already? And you can't change it to 120 hertz can you? But you can on the Samsung. Well guess who is the winner of this match? And speaking of guessing, I'm going to let you guys decide who the winner of the next battle is and this is for dynamic performance and as you can see I've got both smartphones targeted and locked on this light bulb 
in low light conditions. So you just sit back and watch while I turn up the heat and increase the intensity of this light. Now notice that one of these images is generating much more noise than the other. Not only that, but I am losing the ability to understand that this is actually a light bulb. And also notice that my color consistency is changing, turning from orange to yellow to pure white. And now that I'm showing you all that, I want you to tell me which one's which and who should be the victor. Well, time's up. And if you couldn't guess, then I'm going to tell you anyway. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has a much larger sensor than the Samsung S20 FE. And that means that it's more responsive to low light conditions. And also it's shooting at 10 bit 422, which is why the dynamic response or dynamic performance as I call it is so much better than the Samsung. Now all you iPhone users don't get too excited yet because this is still a close battle. Wow. It seems like the battle's just begun, right? But you know something? The iPhone is leading three to two, but there's still more things to come, all right? For example, the memory card slot. Let's talk about that one. Now that's a no brainer, okay? Now I think Samsung is gonna get the one up on this one because the memory card on the iPhone does not exist. On the Samsung, you have an expandable memory card here, which will go all the way up to one terabyte. That means that the 128 gigabytes that's on this right now in regard to memory, well, only 105 is usable, okay? Remember that. But you can have up to one terabyte of memory on this, which means that if you wanna store your videos or your images or your music or whatever the case may be, you can do that. And guess what? When that memory card is filled, you can remove it and replace it with a brand new memory card and save all of your data. Now that is pretty cool. Now why it is that iPhone never decided to have a memory card slot on here, I don't know. But I can tell you this right now, that is a big disadvantage for iPhone. Now this is a smartphone, right? This is the flagship, okay? But this is not. So you mean to tell me that this phone has expandable memory card slot and this one does not. Hey, Goliath, guess what? You lose. Samsung, you win. Let's move. Move, nobody move. We're locked on this video because the next battle topic is gonna be how this thing focuses, particularly on close focusing distance. Now, observe, I have a Rayovac battery in my hand right now, right? And those little words that they don't ever want you to read, well, guess what? I should be able to pull that in with my iPhone or my Samsung and I should be able to read everything on that battery, right? wrong because you're looking at it right now and i know you can't see it so now let's move to the next one now check this out this is the way a flagship should focus right right on point and as i move towards my close focusing distance i begin to see all those words that i couldn't read before and you know something i'm beginning to understand exactly why i shouldn't be holding this battery so close to my face so you tell me which one of these smartphones samsung apple is allowing me to bring this thing so close and since I already know who the victor is on this battle, I'm gonna flash it up on the screen so you know exactly who won this one. So tell me this, who's holding the flag right now, huh? And since I just mentioned the word holding, well, we're on to the next battle, and that is how well do these smartphones hold a charge? And just so we're on the same playing field, I've already set both smartphones to 60 hertz. So let me give you a few seconds so you can catch your breath and hit that subscribe button on my channel, all right? And while you're doing that, I'm going to be explaining some of the details of the battery life on the Samsung. Now, we're talking about a 4,500 milliamp battery. Impressive. And it will yield a battery life of 9 hours and 58 minutes on average. And just so you know, this figure may vary upon usage, so don't get too excited yet, okay? And one of the features that might help Samsung win this battle is the bilateral reverse charging system. And as you can see, I have the ability to potentially charge any other device also, and that includes the iPhone 12 Pro Max. But, but why would I want to do that unless it's able to return the favor, right? And with all this, do you think that the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a chance to win this battle? Well, it better come with a lot more than just a fancy display screen. So here we go, we're face up. And the strongest point for the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the battery. It's slightly smaller than the previous model, but it is more efficient. And they say that it will beat the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. 
So let's see if that's true. The battery on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a 3687 milliamp, which yields almost 12 hours of battery on time, which is the best of any iPhone ever. It will charge to full capacity from 0 to 100 in less than 30 minutes with a 20 watt provided adapter. And I think you already know who's the winner of this battle, right? And just so you know, the war has just begun. And I'll see you all on the next battlefield, all right? I'm out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for letting me do this video for you. Hey, listen, you know something? Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, not a bad smartphone, right? Going up against that Goliath, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, a lot of things that you guys didn't know about, huh? A lot of features, but gives you a reason to hold on to both of them, right? Bigger's not always better, okay? But you know something? In war, this is what we say. We live every day. We laugh beyond words, right? You guys, and we learn. Peace, baby. See you guys on the next battle.